Everyone, hope everything's going well. You guys and gals know that drill. Smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, comment down below. Follow me on Instagram at AIH underscore sports. Follow me on my finance channel at AIH Finance. Okay, so I'm going to tell you, this is not an April Fool's joke. At first, we were thinking, hey, look, is this an April Fool's joke? But no. Uh, Beckett's coming up with an updated grading skill, as all of you know. Beckett has even talked about it. And uh, the pristine 10 is going to have, what, four 10s. So that's going to stay the same. The uh, That's the black label. Uh, the gold uh, label, three 10s, one 9.5. Now, what's going to happen now is you're going to see more 10s out there because they're changing the scale, right? So two 10s and two 9.5s is equaling to a BGS 10, okay? And then one 10 and three 9.5s is also a 10. And a lot of people are not freaking out. They're like, this is not a good idea. And I remember one of the videos I did, I was looking at Michael Jordan 9.5 sales. And ultimately, I'm just thinking out loud, right? And I'll probably do more research on this in future videos, but at least for some of this high-end cards, the market already prices the cards based on the subgrades, okay? Now, I understand that like the average Joe may not look at subgrades as intensely. So suppose you go to a card ladder market mover, you see a BGS 9.5 and you look at the comps, right? But you don't look at the actual subgrades in those comps. So that is one aspect of looking at the comps may not actually help you in terms of pricing because everyone is focused on comps, right? So I'm going to look at a few uh, 9.5 sales of Jordan. And this one had three 9.5s and one BGS 10. And this sold on Heritage Auctions at, what is it? $66,000, okay? $66,000, okay? And the prices of these is fluctuating like in the low, high 20s to somewhere in the 30s, right? Now, there are some exceptions to the rule, and that was an exception because it had 110, okay? And that was, what, February 26th on Heritage. Now, on Golden, what ended up happening was there were two 10s and two 9.5s. That was $84,000, okay? So $84,000, that is substantially higher than all the BGS 9.5s out there. But the difference is, guess what? It had the more 10s out there. So the market from just a couple of these transactions, I understand there aren't that many transactions out there, but it just shows that at least on the high-end sophisticated players in the market, they're looking at the subgrades intensely. So if BGS does change it, or BGS is changing the label, okay, instead of 9.5, it's 10, but ultimately their standards aren't changing as the individual from Becker was talking about, it's just that the grade's going to change. But ultimately, I don't know if this is going to devalue all of the BGS holders that were that have had a bunch of 9.5s out there because the subgrades is what makes Beckett Beckett, okay? This is what the Beckett collectors, investors, etc. tell me. They tell me, "Hey, look, it's the subgrades that draw me to Beckett. So ultimately, I don't, I don't uh, think it's going to be as dire as people are saying. That's just my own two cents because, look, if you're looking at an auction, right, just make sure to look at the subgrades. That's what you have to look at intensely because this is what people do for the Jordan cards, right? Now, I wanted to take a look at uh, one more... Uh, sale out here and this was a PWCC this was 110 and then this was uh, three 9.5s okay 
And this sale on March 16th was 55,200, okay? So it's not as much as the one on Heritage, but it is substantially higher than the high 20s, low 30s. So once again, the marketplace already looks at subgrades, especially for the high-end stuff for the Jordans, right? So I don't think this is as dire as everyone's saying, but I could be wrong. Anyways, guys and gals, let me know what you think. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe. If you haven't, comment down below. Thank you. Bye.